I'm before. It's incredible. I love it. <laughs> Just want to remind y'all why we here at AGDQ 2022 online are here this week and why we're doing what we do. The Prevent Cancer Foundation, founded in 1985, is a U.S.-based nonprofit organization. Their mission is to save lives across all populations through cancer prevention and early detection, but focusing their research through research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their vision is to stop cancer before it starts. You can find out more information about PCF at preventcancer.org. And I just want to say, y'all, one of the many, many things I miss about in-person HEDQs is getting to hang out at the charity table every event where the PCF sets up and not only getting some really cool swag, but also having the opportunity to actually meet representatives from the charity face-to-face, -face, uh, folks who take the time to speak with attendees and give actual faces and stories to this amazing organization we're coming together this week to assist. Like Miss Becca, who is always lightning quick to tell me what incredible programs my donations are going to whenever I asked. And she's been pretty much the face of PCF for the social media outreach during the pandemic, still doing it. Incredible, incredible individual. And of course, my friend, Miss Alicia, who some of you may know as the legendary Puzzle P, longtime friend of GDQ, whose energy and ukulele and amazing illustrations have just been just a massive delight for everybody who's had the pleasure to make her acquaintance. And I'm going to just say it on her behalf because she's not here. Everyone, eat a fresh vegetable or two every day because it helps immeasurably with cancer prevention. And that is just two among hundreds of bright, caring souls who comprise the organization known as the Prevent Cancer Foundation. And to everyone there, on my behalf and on behalf of everyone who has donated for this event, just Thank you so much for all you do to help lives and save lives. And I can't wait to hang out at your table at a live event again. <laughs> and what am I saying? I can't hate, I can't wait to hang out with all of y'all at a live again, event again. Because I could scream at you in the scream room and say this mania continues with the classic racing title track mania. Rastats. Our resident track mania and me will be taking us through a community map showcase, going through a selection of 35. That's right, count them, 35 tracks he has personally curated and once again are all created by the game's amazing user community. We got technical maps. We got beautiful maps. We got silly maps. And Rasta says he has a few surprises in store for the run itself. But all will be revealed right now to le monde. Because chat... I want to see you cuties break out a warm wee wee baguette to welcome Rasta and wish them a big bonne chance for his community map showcase of Trackmania. Hello from France, AGDQ 2022. I am Rasat and I will be your Trackmania speedrunner for tonight. I am uh, the Trackmania lead moderator for over five years. And uh, this is going to be a community maps uh, showcase where we'll go through 35 of uh, the most amazing maps uh, made by the community. I had a look at about 2000 of the most awarded maps on Trackmania Exchange, the leading uh, website to share maps. And uh, I hope you will enjoy uh, the selection. And uh, Iggy, before we start the run, I have a question for you. Uh, do you prefer a rocky landscape or savanna? This will have an influence at the very beginning of a run. E, I um, oh mon dieu, uh, <laughs> let's go with uh, let's go with savanna. How about that? All right. So you want to go with savanna? All right. Uh, I guess we are ready to start the run really soon, so we can start in three, two, one, go. So we're gonna start with AO1 Race, the first track of Trackmania Nations Forever, the most played Trackmania game ever, and this is probably the most iconic track, or is it? Introducing AO1 But Done Quick, a recreation of AO1 from classical game Trackmania Nations Forever, but made especially for games done quick by uh, Prof10, Ellipse, Nacho, Jose, Juice, and myself, with a lot of uh, references uh, to uh, video games, as you will see. I hope you will enjoy this map made especially for awesome games done quick. 2022. So we're going to start driving right now on the map. The map should be released uh, right now. We will go for a speed run within the speed run. So if you like this map, I want you to go to Trackmania Exchange, the leading sharing map site on the Trackmania, to log in with Ubisoft Connect, to go to the map section and to look for uh, A1 button quick and then to award the map. 
And we are faced with a choice. So you choose Savannah, Iggy. So we're going to save the animals now. And if you want to see the other route, you will have to uh, go to Trackmania and change, of course. Amazing map made by the community. Amazing project for a very good start of a run with an extension of A1 with these uh, two routes. And also custom music, you might have recognized the music from Virtual, one of the leading uh, Trackmania uh, streamers. It's one of his uh, theme music, so if you ever watch a Trackmania documentary, you might have already heard that music. We're now moving on to Mifodacin by Enisado and HTMatch. So Enisado did the route and HTMatch did the scenery. So you have to know that HTMatch is a 3D artist in real life, and this is one of the most custom maps that we have out there. With the custom blocks, you have a basic uh, editor in-game in order to create your map, but you can also uh, do some 3D items. And on this track, we want to look for the gear management. Uh, so you want to have a look at the gear indicator on the bottom right uh, corner of your screen. So there, is five gears in, there are five gears in Trackmania. You have automatic gear transmission uh, also in Trackmania. And so when you are shifting gears, you don't want to steer too much. So I will try to keep the fourth gear as long as possible on this track. There's also custom music uh, made by a local artist. And you also saw the introduction, but we just skipped it on that track. I only showed the introduction of the very first map. So very amazing map. This was a, a grass map. So we're going to see the basic surfaces in Trackmania, and then we will evolve to some uh, more uh, unique maps with unique ideas, like a uh, next map, which is going to be Corrupted File by Luoki. So this is a tech map, and there is a twist. So we'll let you discover what is the twist on this map. So tech map means that it's mostly roadblocks, and we'll use the drifting mechanic by uh, tapping the brake button in order to initiate a drift. You can decide to hold the brake button for longer in order to get a sharper line and as you may have seen on this track the hitboxes of the blocks you see are not the hitboxes of the blocks uh, you are driving on so very interesting concept and uh, I'm super excited to show you the reactive boost right there, a new block introduced in uh, Trackmania 2020 so this game was released uh, about half a year uh, one year and a half uh, ago and it's the latest uh, Trackmania game it is uh, free to play and you have uh, some uh, paid version if you want to access the full content. And we are now moving on to track number four. And I just uh, forgot to change uh, the card tree gum. So I guess it was the GDQ card tree gum uh, that we had. Uh, Iggy Zig. Alright, so we are uh, back on uh, this uh, full speed map where we will be using the speed stag mechanic. So you want to uh, your speed marks to overlap by about 50% uh, right there, and you can start using this mechanic at speeds of about uh, about 400 kilometers per hour, and it saves a ton of time. And so there is a huge difference between the top uh, full speed players and the regular full speed player. Very easy to drive. You don't have to brake, so very easy, uh, easy to drive for a beginner, but super hard to master. And we will uh, move on now uh, to uh, map uh, number uh, five, which will be Interlaken by a Neutron and also Guinea Pig, an ice map, a new surface introduced in Trackmania uh, 2020. And I will try to change my trigger just after this because I forgot to do it before the run. So he gives you, if you okay, can give me a heads up on what was the leading trigger. It's looking like the trigram is going to be uh, T, the number four, and then T. All right, so we're going to change that. And I just have a slide out on this map. So uh, this map, you can uh, drive it uh, with, it's a multi-lap map. So first lap and then second map where you want to do a turnaround on this grassy section. And then you just drive the same blocks in uh, a reverse order. And funny fun fact about this map is that I won a cup of the night at three in the morning. So I will explain later what cup of the night is. And cup of the day, it's one of the uh, major uh, competition in Trackmania where more than 2,000 people participate each day on the new maps. And the ice type mechanic requires to first slide in the direction of the turn and then uh, to slide in the opposite direction. So I just fell my slide one second right there. We're going to uh, switch, uh, change the card trigger to uh, T40 because I just forgot to do that. There you go. We should be good. And now we can resume with hey. track number six, which will be Parthenon by Ellipse. 
So this is going to be a dirt map. The mechanics are going to be similar uh, to the grass map I showed you earlier, where you don't want to steer too much and you want to watch out for the gears. So as we say in the French community, you listen to your gears on this kind of tracks. So amazing map with a Greek uh, scenery. And you want to go on the exterior line in order to steer as less as possible right there. I want to keep the fourth gear free out the run. So this is what I'm going to try to do. There you go. I'm keeping the fourth gear. Because if you down gear, you don't shift the gears, you will lose a ton of time. And uh, as uh, you see, this is how you do the lines on this uh, kind of uh, dirt maps. So these are the basic map style. And as I said, after that, we will be looking at uh, some uh, more uh, unique ideas. It was really difficult to pick up the 35 maps for this speedrun. It took me a lot of time. And I hope you will appreciate the selection that I picked for you. Uh, because the community is doing an amazing job at uh, making maps and we have new uh, fantastic maps every day. And most of them, most of the top maps that I picked are community uh, projects made by at least two mappers, uh, like uh, the previous one, which was uh, Interlaken by Neutron and also Guinea Pig. So this is the first map that's going to have a little um, trick. So you can go either left or right at uh, each checkpoint. And we saw all the basic surfaces, so now you should be familiar with grass. And then we will move on to tech and we will be introduced to a new surface that we haven't seen yet and that was uh, first introduced in Trackmania 2020. So this is the tech session uh, of uh, the map where you want to get your nice uh, drifting line right there. And then we will move on to the sausage rock and I will drive the map a second time but this time on the right side and you're going to see that it's two completely different maps and I will finish in about the same time. It's a very amazing idea made by Shorty. is one of the mappers famous for this kind of uh, uh, amazing ideas like doing uh, backwards maps and all that stuff. And we will say that... Oh, I just skipped the maps. I will go back to the map. I just, <laughs> I just forgot uh, to uh, drive it a second time. So we will see uh, this map afterwards. So let me drive uh, equality a second time on the right side. And I will introduce map number eight because there's a lot to talk about for uh, such a short map. So map number eight will be a weighted plastic. And there is a meme that has been running on in the Trackmania community for about 10 years since the release of Trackmania Canyon, uh, where the eighth map of a solo campaign must be a lol map with a lot of a scale case. And this is what we will see on the upcoming map. And people loved this kind of map so much that they decided to create a competition in Trackmania 2020 called a Wait Forever, where every eighth day of the month, you get to play on a new uh, map with this kind of a style case. And uh, you uh, have a seating of about uh, 25 minutes where you try to set the fastest time as possible. And then there is a knockout match in order uh, to determine who's uh, the best uh, player out there. So very amazing event, uh, loved by the community, and we will talk about all the amazing events uh, throughout the run. So there you go. as you can see, I will also finish this map in about 48 seconds. So the two ways are almost equal, and the fun fact is that the top, top 10 times uh, on this map do not use the uh, same uh, driving lines. So this is the air rate map that I was uh, talking about. So we're going to have a lot of bounces right there. I will try to not bounce too much and to save a bit of time, but it's a bit random as you may see. So far we're off to a really good start, might be a super good one on that uh, track. And as you can see, it's very easy to do a flip and we are lost a lot of time in the water. So we're going to exit the water and then reach the finish line and move on to track number nine, which is going to be a NASCAR map uh, called Asteroid NASCAR by Mon and Entelec. And so Nazca maps uh, in uh, Trackmania, uh, you should never break, you should only release. It's much faster to uh, only release during turn and not to break, and you will see that we will reach some super high speed. I will do the first lap and when we will be ready for our first round of a donation. So let's try to reach 1 million together, guys, during this run. After this run, there's going to be a Kaki Showcase with some amazing maps, uh, some very, very difficult maps. There's uh, a current season of Kaki ongoing right now in Trackmania Nations Forever, and I will talk about that later on during the Kaki Showcase. As you can see right there, I am releasing the turns in order to save time, because if I drift, I would lose way too much time, and I think we're good for our first round of the nation until I finish this map. We oui, Rasta, Monsieur Le Mans. We got ourselves uh, $100 from Glaucom. They say, hey Rasta, thank you for your hard work in the Trackmania speedrunning community. Better to not drop any gears and hold the SDs as long thank as possible. Thank you very possible. much, <laughs> We've also got ourselves, we've also got ourselves uh, Sammy freaking B coming in with a generous $50 donation to PCF. And they say, oh baby, love me some AGDQ. We do too, thank you so much. And hey chat, 
Let's talk numbers. We are nearly halfway to meeting the Panics Air Race Heart Incentive, and we are less than $46,000 away from $1 million. So as Rasta would say, Allons-y! Let's go! I, I, I'm sure we can do this. Like, if we all donate like $5, if you can afford it, of course, we can push for the $1 million. And we are moving into the first competitive map of the map pack. It's called ESL Ocalicious. It was built in 2008 on Trackmania Nations Forever by Oak. And so, as I said, it was made for the Esport Electronic League. And what you have to know about Trackmania is that the biggest cash prize so far were uh, in 2006 and 2007 after the release of Trackmania Nations. But in 2022, that's going to be a huge competition organized by Eric Ordal. is the main Trackmania journalist. He's reporting all the events, doing interviews with all the top players. And he's decided to organize a huge competition with streamers, top players, and the local youth in his hometown of Meloy in Norway. So you're going to check out for that in August of 2022. He just did an announcement today. And it's going to be an amazing event with a huge cash prize. And I hope to, to be there for the event in August. So yeah, this map, every tech player uh, knows it. It's an amazing map uh, made by a competitive map, not with a lot of scenery because you need to get a good FPS on this kind of maps uh, in order to not get uh, lags during a competitive uh, play. And tech is, uh, has been so far the uh, leading uh, competitive uh, map style. Now we're moving on to a new surface introduced in Trackmania 2020 with a Summer 21 update. It was only six months ago and also with what we call the Royal Mode update, which I will talk about later on. So on these blocks, you also want to get as minimum steering as possible. We will go on the pipe right there for the short way. A very amazing map made by Ellipse and Nightwolf, two very talented mappers. So right there, I'm going to try to stay on the pipe, not fall off, and do the same on the other pipes. And after that, we're going to move on to a water map with uh, a physics that was introduced in a Trackman Nations Forever and that was only introduced also with the summer update. So there was a lot of stuff with that summer update that we're going to talk about in details with a royal map later on in the speedrun. And so these are the bugs that are really bouncy that we saw on uh, map number eight. So map number uh, 12 is going to be Waterheart by Yanex, uh, one of the top uh, French uh, streamers, and he decided to build the first uh, underwater map that would become a track of the day. So this is what we are also going to talk about later on in the run. So we'll be driving underwater with reactor boost down. So you have two kinds of reactor boost. Uh, reactor boost down, it's like a magnetic block. You stay attached to the ground and reactor boost up, you can fly in the air. And uh, we, I think we already saw that and we will see it right there with this amazing flip just like so the front flip and then back flip with the plastic block and we're gonna have a risky and safe finish at the very end so this is a um, usual concept that you see in competitive maps in order to um, to um, to get a better uh, view of the audience of course you want all the players to go for the risky finish i'll try to go for it try to get it first right and uh, let's try that i will be able to do all of the difficult spots i will line up to the left right there and then aim on the right and sadly i couldn't get it first try so i might get try to get it second try and there you go oh <laughs> we are very unlucky so i guess we're gonna go for the safe finish that was very unfortunate a nice bonk as we would say in the Trackmania community. And uh, next map will be a very unusual map called Tropical Boost by uh, Zerax. Also a map uh, on water, but not under water, but just over water with reactor boost up right there. And this is what we call the speedboat map. There's not a lot of uh, this kind of maps uh, in the Trackmania community. And I would love to organize a competition with this kind of maps because this is amazing. There's a lot of very difficult tactics, uh, tactics uh, to master. So I'm going to try to not hit any uh, checkpoint right there. So very amazing map. And then we have this uh, risky jump right there where you want to go as straight as possible, do the turnaround, and maybe I will be able to finish in less than 30 seconds. There you go, 29.76. Very decent time on uh, that uh, track. Uh, next map will be the second competitive map of the map pack called Au Bordel, uh, which is a French word which I will not translate in English, made by Zerator, one of the leading uh, French uh, streamer. So he's been organizing some competitions in Trackmania since uh, 2013 with Trackmania Stadium. 
First, he organized this competition uh, offline and then on set, and I just hit the llama, and that's a very bad landing, but I tried to line up on the left, there you go. So he's mapping all uh, his maps, and he's, uh, he has a very unique master, as you may see, compared to all the other maps. I will try to go for balloon jump, but it's like a 1% chance to succeed. I will try, still try to, uh, to get it. So, uh, Allons-y, as we would say, gonna line up for that jump, not get enough speed, but maybe I will be able to land on the pipe. It's not gonna be the best jump ever, but we're still gonna try. There you go. And we did get not the perfect balloon jump, but I still we got it. We lost a bit of time, then we're gonna uh, prepare for the finish. It's gonna be a, a very interesting finish, as you will see, with over a uh, Lamas, a Peruvian Lamas with uh, sunglasses, and gonna land into the water right there and uh, finish this uh, second competitive map. And so he started organizing on-site events in 2016, and uh, that was a huge audience, so that's definitely one of the major uh, events in uh, Trackmania. And this is an uh, RPG map, and you might recognize the game. Uh, this is Dust2 by Stuntman and Stupski Cell. And yes, this is the Dust2 map from a Counter Strike source, if I remember correctly. So RPG maps, they use a lot of uh, custom blocks, and they already uh, did it with Trackmania Stadium, uh, one of the previous uh, Trackmania games. So I didn't have a lot of speed right there. There's gonna be another RPG uh, track at the very end of this speedrun with another very popular game. So I would let you guess in chat what would be that game. And then we're gonna try to go for our first bug slide. So I will land 90 degrees sideways on the road and press steering and brake at the same time, just like so. I will not hit the wall and we have time for one donation. Rust, I love this. Thank you so much for this map. We have Toto Mania with $25. They say, yo, Rasta, great showcase, and I feel honored having AO1 in here. And a message to chat, give Track Mania a try. Yeah, chat, come on, give it a try. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, for sure. Mania. I mean, the audience in Track Mania is mostly European, but uh, we're, we're seeing more and more American people, so I hope that I will convince you to buy Track Mania. Uh, this is another map with a very cool concept, a cruise control concept. It's uh, made by Fifth Proof, so first up, you're not going to have a lot of speed, so we'll have to go for the longer line, and then you might be able to do the big jump that you saw on the left on lap number three, so this is what we're going to try to do. That's a big skip to uh, skip the cruise control at the very start of the map, but I decided to not go for it in order to show you the three uh, different uh, routes. So there you go, lap number two, we already have uh, close to 200 uh, kilometers per hour. I will go for the same, uh, same line as uh, lap number one, but then I will go on the left, be able to do that jump and go for lap number three with way more speed and with some uh, totally different lines, a very amazing concept, uh, of course, with this uh, cruise control bug that is not uh, used very often. And then we're going to go directly into the finish, just like so. So the map was called Rigged. Next map is Nostalgia by Virtual and HT Match, and it's also going to be an amazing map. Do you remember the carpets, the road carpets that you had in your bedroom when you were a child? Well, this is the same replica of these carpets, but with a huge scale. As you will see, you will see the post office, just like so. And also the police office on the right. This is an Oscar map, so I will want to release on every turn in order to not drift. I will take this turn at full speed, at least almost full speed. So it is set in a gigantic child bedroom. And so uh, Virtual, as I said, is uh, the most uh, popular uh, Trackmania streamer and YouTuber, and he makes uh, documentary videos about the uh, Trackmania nation forever and uh, over Trackmania videos. So it's one of the reasons why the community has expanded so fast with Trackmania 2020. So I wanted to give a huge shout out, of course, uh, to him and uh, for uh, making this map possible with the help of uh, HDMH, uh, probably one of the best uh, scenery mappers out there. And also so huge shout out to the Trackmania uh, scenery uh, community, the TMA community. So this was Nostalgia, also with a custom music made especially for that map. And next map will be uh, the third competitive map and probably the hardest map in the speedrun uh, called uh, Barrelistic by Banano. So this is a map from Trackmania Grand League, the main esports uh, competition in Trackmania. It's going to use uh, some stunts uh, called a barrel and you don't see that very often. So I'm going to burn on Plastic Driver. And sadly, that dance did not go as planned, but I will try to go for all the barrel uh, rolls. So we're gonna line up for the first one. First one is the easiest one. 
just like so, perfect landing. Then I'm gonna switch the camera, so you have three different cameras in Trackmania. This is camera number three that you mainly use in full speed, but if you're Carl Jr., one of the top players in game, you can use this camera for everything, but it's very difficult to see where you are going, of course. Then you've got this camera, so this is uh, camera number two, the camera that is used by the most players, so close camera. Uh, next to the car and then you have camera number one so this one i will try to show it to you later because this was not a good setup to show the camera so normally we drive these tracks uh, with a six laps for trackmania grand league but i will be only be driving for one lap because it's already enough as it is a very difficult map so i will go for the safe ride right there and prepare for the second barrel that is definitely the hardest and i hope to get it i already did a ton of mistakes so let's hope to get it first right we're gonna line up and there you go, we got the second barrel and try to get the third one as well, if we, if we can do so. And sadly, we won't get the third barrel first race. I'm gonna try for a second attempt. Second attempt should be good if we have enough speed to climb up. There you go, amazing. It, it, it did go as planned, could have been better, but uh, still a uh, decent time on that map considering how difficult it is. And we will switch to a backwards map, a retro sum made by Queen Clown and greedy and we're gonna have to wiggle the car in order to gain a ton of speed on this uh, map so we're gonna also use the cam one just like so and then uh, when i will enter the grass section i will start wiggling the car in order to gain a ton of speed with the boosters and so if you uh, lose just a bit of speed you will lose all the speed throughout the run so very difficult so nobody has beaten uh, the offers on this map uh, yet so what we call is a 40.5 and off is a 39.5 but this map is rather unknown, so I hope uh, that uh, we will see some people uh, practice this map. I lost a ton of speed drivers, so not gonna be the best one when I hit a rock, so that, that was a very uh, sad timing, and maybe I will be able to uh, get the booster and then uh, come back. I've never practiced this uh, safe way, so we will try it. There you go, we got the safe way. A lot of mistakes, but I get uh, stress uh, speaking right now, as this is my first appearance at a, at a GDQ event. We're gonna try to get some drift going in order to save a bit of speed and finish in less uh, this map in less than a minute. There you go. And we will be switching uh, to map number 20, Universe Velocity by Pavlos. It's gonna be a stunt full speed map with a lot of front flips and back flips. It can be a bit buggy. Just hoping to get a clean run on that one and it will use some of the Trackmania Turbo assets. So the Trackmania Turbo is the game where I spent the most time. It was the first Trackmania game uh, released on console, uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, if I remember correctly. And it was also released on PC and I spent more than a thousand hours, if not 1,500 hours on it. So we try to get some nice time on this map. We're gonna get the first front flip right there and this will be time for some donations. Perfect. Just want to say, Ross, as both me and Chad all agree, you were doing simply incroyable. We have Shorty D with the $10 donation. They say, we love Trackmania. Thank you so much for what you're doing for the game, Rasta. And thanks for showcasing one of my maps, Less Than Three. So Softy <laughs> is uh, one of the uh, Nadio uh, members. So, oh, so right there, I was very unlucky, so I lost a ton of speed. So I'm going to try to uh, go for the safe way. I hope it will work out. Uh, that was really buggy, so maybe I will get the bounce now. I might have to restart the map sadly and lose uh, quite a bit of time. As I told you, this map is very difficult and sometimes when the odds are not in your favor, you just uh, gotta have to restart. So that's not the most perfect one that I wanted to show you, but uh, I am trying my best. It's uh, not that easy, uh, of course. You can try out the maps uh, for yourself. So really amazing map and we have time for other donation, of course. Yeah, fantastic. We have Boots42 with an O and a zero and an O in the middle of their name with a $10 donation. They say so much speed. Can we get a $10 train to lead us to the bonus incentive? Yeah, exactly, Chad. Can't we? We're at $11,815 out of $20,000, and we are less than $42,000 to a million. Let's see some $10 trains. Let's see some $5 trains. I want to see a 30th Street station where the train's coming in to meet those goals and push us to a million. How about it? Let's go. Oh, I'm guessing I'm very unlucky on that map. I, I really don't know what's happening. I'm gonna have to restart one more time. But very, very unfortunate that the ice is killing me. Normally the tournament just uh, go well. But this time it's uh, a bit buggy, so maybe third time will be a charm. But that is a very long map, so you don't want to do a single mistake. 
as you see this is not responsible so i will try to aim perfectly for the ice section and after the ice section we should be good for the rest of the map if we can clear it this time so let's try to aim for it there you go just like so do the turn around get the speed like so line up on the left perfect then do another turn around there you go we should be good we should be good maybe we can get the flip double front flip perfect landing amazing so a lot of whistles and we have time for other donations all right and if y'all are liking what you see please please get those donations in for rock and league be sure to select that as an incentive when you get your donations in. And also we have some egrets coming in with the right idea, $50 with their donation saying, let's get this 1 million Wednesday past the yeah, finish line. Yeah, for sure, let's get the 1 million before the end of a run. I believe in you guys. I really uh, want you to donate for that because uh, we're gonna beat cancer together. So let's try to finish this map. So this is a symmetric map uh, at the end. So you can choose to go either left or right. A huge time loss on the map, sadly, because I was very unfortunate with the ice landing. But on this full speed map, you have no, uh, no place for error, of course. And then we're going to have this flip and finish the map in 147. So that would have been a decent time if I did not reset two times, of course. There you go. OK, next map is going to be Fragments by Zerbax. Also, uh, a long map and a concept map. Uh, it's only going to be uh, four blocks wide, and we will have some of the uh, major map installed in uh, Trackmania. So, fun fact is that uh, on this map, only two people have the Ofe medal. So, we have four different medals in Trackmania bronze medal, silver medal, gold medal, and Ofe medal. And only Zerax and myself have managed to get the Ofe medal. I mean, Zerax set the Ofe medal uh, when validating the track, and then he beat it again. And this track is very difficult to get a clean run on, so we're going to try to get a 135 just to compensate for the time loss on uh, the other tracks. So this is the tech section of the map when we're going to move on to the grassy section. Avoid the tree, that was a perfect dodge. Then try to keep the gear, but sadly we uh, downshifted to third gear. And we can get some donation going to for the 1 million because I really want uh, it to, to happen. I know you can do this, Trackmania community and the entire gaming community. I believe in you. I want to see some Trackmania hashtag in the donation and we have time for another round of donation. Perfect. We have Drowning Integer with $25. They say, I've been playing Trackmania for a decade and I still feel like a complete noob compared to the best players. Bull chance, Rasta. Let's hit 1 million and get into that one million. We are nearly $12,000. We have exceeded $12,000. I'm not saying we're nearly doing $12,000. We have $12,000 towards the 20,000, towards Panic's Air Race Heart. So keep them going, everybody. Let's do it. So a bit of a blunder, but we have time for another donation. Absolutely, we have an anonymous $500 donation. No comment. But I just wanted to recognize your generosity. Thank you so much. Thank you for contributing to this push. And thank you for your generous donation to the PCF. All right, this is going to be the last competitive map of the map pack. So fourth map, a map from Trackmania Formula League. So it's basically Formula One, but in Trackmania. And this map was made by the incredible HTMH and Shumiskin, one of the lead skinners in the game. It takes a bit of time to load. And uh, usually you drive this on the server with a plugin for fuel and tire management, but because we are playing this map online, we will not have the fuel and tire management, but I will show you the pit stop. So normally you would drive a race with 15 laps, you would do a seeding before, and this is one of the most popular competition in Trackmania. They just finished their third edition a couple of months ago, and it was a French player, Wazil, who won uh, against uh, Patros, another amazing player. And so you have different strategies on this kind of maps. You can decide to go for three, four, five, or six pit stops, of course, depending on which strategy you want to use. You will go uh, very fast or a bit slower on every lap. But uh, sadly, I'm not able to showcase this mode to you. Uh, it would have been uh, too difficult uh, because it's a server-side plugin that was made by the incredible Trackmania Formula League community. And so we'll go for the pit stop uh, just between the first and the second lap. I will release in this turn and go for a drift right there. Avoid the trees, nice. 
And then I will need to not go at a speed beyond 130 km per hour, else I would get a 10 second penalty in normal uh, track mania Formula League races. So I will move on to the furthest pit stop. I will stop for like two or three seconds, get my fuel, uh, get some fuel and get my tires replaced and then start again for lap number two on uh, this uh, incredible map and we have time for uh, some other donations. Perfect. We have Kyle the Coder coming in with a $1,000 donation. They say second donation per year in a row for an amazing track mania run. Never played it, but I'm loving watching it. You and everybody else, thank you so much, Kyle the Coder. And we have exceeded $13,000 for Panics Air Race. We are nearly at $960,000. Well on the way to a million. Everybody, let's make it happen. Let's go. Let's raise 1 million guys, I think we have like probably 30 minutes remaining with the Kaki Showcase, so I know that you can definitely get the 1 million. Let's uh, let's get it pushed, let's get 1 million. I think we are like 24 hours ahead of AGGQ 2021, which was the fastest event to raise 1 million, so that's amazing, the support from the community uh, on this event this year. Really amazing and really proud to be part of it, of course, with this Trackman I run. That doesn't go as planned, but uh, I'm trying my best, I will try my best on the upcoming maps I had. Some, uh, some blunders on, on uh, some uh, very difficult maps. Um, and we will soon finish with the fourth uh, competitive map. And we'll soon be done with the first map pack. And then we'll have a second map pack with a 10 over amazing map. So map number 23 will be uh, the last full spin map of this speed run. It's called Obsidian Irons by Sapphire And it's a crazy idea. It's a two kilometer tall tower, yeah, even uh, taller than Burj Khalifa. I mean, more than twice taller than Burj Khalifa. And so you have a reactor boost uh, down uh, block in order to stay attached to the ground. So you want to fight gravity right there. It's a very tricky map, very tricky to get a clean run. So I will try to get one at least on this map. There you go, and we will, reach, uh, we will reach the maximum speed at the very end of the track. So maximum speed in track mania is 1000 km per hour. So this is what I'm going to try to reach uh, in the very last two seconds. We got the bumper box showcase right there, but we will see in another upcoming map. So, so far so good on this map. We're doing okay, not a lot of speed up because it's difficult to do this. There's not a lot of... Um, um, space to do uh, this uh, speed slide of course and we're finishing just over 44 seconds so that was a decent time and now we're gonna play some mini golf because we all love mini golf with 18 uh, holes and uh, custom music so when i will cross the red line on every hole i will have no steering so this means that i will only be able to accelerate and a break so amazing map made by wallaby with the custom music uh, from the virtual channel the fs got this run meme if you, you know uh, what i'm talking about so fs is one of the uh, leading uh, one of the top uh, track nations for a uh, player with a lot of uh, uh, world records and there is a meme among the track mania community uh, where uh, there is the catchphrase and then fs got this run so i hope then to get this run too so now we're moving on to hole number five. We're gonna break, try to get it first right. There you go, amazing. Try to line up for hole number six. We have time for a couple donations. Perfect. We have Reginald Yacht. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. I may not be sure. With a $50 donation, they say my first donation of the event and I had to donate for Trackmania. It's a series I have incredible nostalgia for and I thought I was good at until I found out speedrunning was a thing, and every dev time I beat had already been blown out of the water. Best of luck on the run. Also, the best evolution is Umbreon. Thank you very much, Reginald, again, for that hot take. Hey, Rasta, what's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite evolution? Uh, in, uh, in Pokemon? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. I mean, I would pick Charizard because this is the first time that comes to mind, but I really have no idea. That's the perfect answer for me. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we also but have hole number uh, eight. Is it, uh, is it 18 holes? Uh, yeah, just like a regular mini golf course. Well, right, let's go nice. ahead and do oh, some. Got first drive, that's amazing. I lost a bit of time on the other one. Let's I'm do some. Finish uh... this below four minutes. <laughs> Maybe I will drive straight into the hole. There you go. And we have time for another donation, of course. All right, let's do a golf donation. We have ourselves definitely not a blue hedgehog with $50. Their donation comment reads Hopping aboard the one million Wednesday train. Thank you so much. Definitely not a blue hedgehog for your generosity. And we are less than $38,000 away 
from the one million. We are 75% of the way to meeting Panic's Aries and unlocking that second bonus on top of the bonus, on top of the bonus for Rocket League. Chat, y'all are coming out. We are loving it. Let's keep it going. Back to you, Rasta. Come on, guys, let's do it. Only 32,000 left. I, I believe in you guys. We're not, ooh, come on, go. Ah, oh, that was very unlucky. I was slightly a bit to the right. So the time so far on this map is a decent as long as I get like three minutes and 30 seconds. That might be a personal best. I lost a bit of time on one of the holes. Number 16 will be straight in. Nice, then number 17, and then we will have number 18. So there you go. Might want to accelerate right there, then release and try to aim for the hole. And then we have last one. Oh, come on. We're circling now. Maybe I have to break or maybe I'm just getting very unlucky. Nope. And this is going to be a PB on this map. If I get it first try and I will not, Sally. Oh, yeah. So that was a bit close. OK, I just got turtle. Oh, I did finish. Nice. So when you get turtle, it's really hard to untotal in Trackmania. You try to wiggle your car, but sometimes you're stuck. And this is a, a mechanic that is used in khaki maps, for example, which we will show later. So khaki maps are some very impossible maps which require a ton of skill and a ton of luck. And I will showcase them later on for the incentive that you just read. So thank you very much for reaching that incentive, everyone. You will not be disappointed. So this is track for 2021-25 from the seasonal campaign for 2021. So in this new track mining game, we have a seasonal campaign before we have a fixed campaign. So now every three months, you have 25 new tracks made by the developers that I used for matchmaking. So matchmaking is a new game mode that was introduced in Trackmania with this new game. And where you, oh, I lost a lot of speed, so I couldn't start the drift. And where uh, you uh, play in teams of three versus three, you can play with complete strangers or with your uh, friends. And this map is a recreation of uh, Trackmania, uh, track number 200 from Trackmania Turbo, one of the community's uh, favorite maps. So this has become by far one of favorite uh, campaign maps uh, too, and one of the uh, most hunted ones. And uh, I started speedrunning Trackmania on Trackmania Turbo like four or five years ago doing my first Trackmania Turbo speedrun in five hours with 200 tracks. So it brings me back to these uh, days and uh, that's, uh, that's a really good thing. Though. Now we're going to move on to the second campaign with a 10 over amazing map. And now we're going to see the most awarding map until now. So I hope you are all awarding the AO1 map on the Trackmania Exchange website in order uh, to take the throne uh, because we need to get more than 240 awards on the website. So I hold count on you if you loved the first map of the speedrun. So this is Midnight Metropolis by Neon 190, HT Match and Outrod, a track set in a futuristic city, a speed attack map where you go super fast and you use your best drifting mechanics. You can also start some auto drift without breaking right there by turning in the grass and then switching to the road section and we had a bounty hat on this track where you had a secret discord code hidden uh, in the track so that was an amazing uh, an amazing thing done by some members of the community you also have a lot of community reference uh, in the map so we'll let you use camera number seven when you apply the map uh, in game in order to see all these easter eggs so all the campaigns will be made available after the run in my club so you will need to have at least uh, the 10 euro version of track so you have the uh, free version where you have access to basic content and then you have a standard version when you can, where you can have access to uh, campaigns and cup of the day which i didn't talk about yet and i needed to talk about it on the mini golf app so i guess uh, it will be time uh, to talk uh, about a cotd now and a royal mode at the same time on a royal cluster track so yes this will be another uh, speedrun game represented in trackmania with a royal map so normally you have five sections so this is the easy section uh, you just get uh, these uh, nice uh, bumper blocks and as I said, a couple of days, it's a daily competition organized at 7 p.m. on a new map every day. And uh, not many people know the maps before end. And so you get 15 minutes to drive the fastest time on uh, the uh, map of the day, the track of the day. And then you get seated in, oh, wait, I skipped skip the map, sorry. I skipped to the next track because I only finished one section. So I will have to go back to, uh, to the royal map. I did not showcase the other uh, sections. 
So uh, yeah, a couple of day, amazing competition uh, with uh, with more than 2,500 people every day, and we have reruns of a couple of a day at uh, three in the morning European time and 11 in the morning. So three in the morning is for uh, the Americans out there, and 11 in the morning is for the uh, people from Asia. So I'm going to drive the other sections. Uh, completely forgot. I thought this was a normal map, so I completely uh, I directly skipped to uh, the next map. You want to avoid to land on this part, as you can see. This is a really big so I'm going to try to avoid these but sometimes it's a bit difficult and we're gonna drive then the green section and we have time for a couple donations certainly we've got M Botone with $500 saying track mania and rocket league are my favorite games you are also doing absolutely amazing and showing how amazing this game can be keep it up thank you so much We've also got Anonymous with a $25 donation. Their comment reads, I don't even like racing games, but I am glued to the screen. Go Rostus, you're fantastic. Thank you so much, Anonymous, Anonymous for the donation or for that mood. So right away, we have moving blocks and there's a specific timing to, for this block, so I have to be very careful in order to finish this first try. I will wait right there, then go right in, avoid this block, jump, I'm going to wait a little bit and also finish the blue section. And our red section is going to be even more amazing. We will be flying in the air and I will try to get it first try. So let's try to land on that platform. Perfect landing. So how are we on the total uh, donations for a GDQ? Oh, and I have to restart because I was really bad. We are currently at $965,000. We are less than $35 away. $35,000 away. Oh man, if only $35, but we're gonna make it there, everybody. $35,000, oh, yeah. ah, ah, ah. And we're nearly at $17,000 to meet the Panics Air Race Hard Incentive for Rocket League. Everybody, you're doing amazing, keep it up. So I will try to go still on that section. I don't want to redo it a second time. And I will sadly have to redo it a second time. So very lucky on that run. Usually runs go much better than this, but uh, this is not gonna be a world record for sure. So I'm gonna try my best. These bumpers are a bit buggy right there. We got it nicely. Nice, then this one, perfect. Then the last two ones and we'll finally finish this royal map and move on to uh, the uh, next uh, map uh, which is gonna be Grand League by Chris de Saint Clair. It's also gonna be a nice come up where you want to release in the turns instead of uh, breaking a lot of uh, custom scenery as you can see. It's like Midnight Metropolis but at a day in the daytime you've got a lot of lucky jumps so you have to avoid all the cars and all the street lights, so I'm gonna try my best at avoiding all of these obstacles. So not gonna be that easy. We're really good so far, and then there's gonna be an amazing finish to the map. You may have seen a football stadium at the very beginning in the introduction. This will be a key moment, uh, for the key uh, factor of the finish. Oh, there you go, just hit the, the bus stop. And so, yeah, and I hit another car. I guess we're gonna have to, to, to restart right there and try to, to get enough speed. Very, very unlucky. Maybe there's a booster that I can get. Oh, there's a safe way. There's a safe way that I can go for, or I can just try to go like this. Try to save it, there you go. Now we should get enough speed. And we have time for another round of donation before I finish the map. Absolutely. $5 comes to us from Curtis Rodney. They see Track Mania on GDQ. This is awesome. I've loved playing TM for years, and it is great to see it showcased on GDQ. $5 train. Choo choo! Oh, we're nearly 17,000 towards meaning Panics Aries, and I cannot wait to tell you about the incentive after that is unlocked. So let's get it in, everybody. Let's make it happen. So there you go, we just finished in the football stadium. I went for the furthest cage because I wanted you to, to see all the players on the stadium and let's keep the hype going. I know we can get 1 million in the upcoming 20 minutes. I believe in you guys. 
let's do it i believe in the power of the american and the european audience watching right now and this is an unreleased map so nobody has played it yet this is going to be a map for an upcoming competition made by prof 10 with a bug fight so you want uh, to uh, break and steer at the same time right there i will try to get it nicely one of the hardest map of this video and so if i can get this one i will still be happy despite all the failures that i had earlier but try my best at the second slide just like so try to get as much as a speed as possible amazing third slide is going to be the most difficult one so i will try to get a decent exit speed and this map as i said will be available in the coming days but an amazing turnaround not a perfect exit speed but this should be about a 52 53 second time so very decent and i'm sure some people will drop it down to 48 seconds or maybe even lower with some crazy uh, grass light strat as you can see my inputs on the right i'm pressing three buttons at the same time and finishing in the 52.14 so at least i got one difficult map done uh, pretty well and uh, we will uh, move on to another ice map the second ice map of speedrun haunted forest by a uh, scars or and we can have uh, oh wait uh, we're gonna have some donation later on because i have some uh, things to explain on this map so we start the uh, ice slide with uh, by uh, turning right and then left and then we're gonna do 180 on plastic with the ice slide just like so try to keep the ice slide it's an halloween film map and now we have time for one donation Perfect. We got ourselves Dirty Daub with $150. That's a shout out to RLMM, the map makers and the runners. Looking forward to the Rocket League run. Indeed, you are. And indeed, we are less than $3,000 to unlock Panic's Air Race. Then I could tell you all about the next incentive. It's going to be a good one. Let's keep it going. Yeah, let's keep it going, everyone. Come on. <laughs> let's do this together. Let's be the record from, uh, what was the largest GDQ event? Was it like SGDQ 2020, if I remember correctly? Oh no, it was SGDQ 2020, the last uh, on site. So this is a Christmas themed uh, map made for the Christmas uh, calendar project. And I <laughs> managed to hit both cars, amazing bonk. And so uh, this project, we have one new amazing map uh, released uh, every day uh, for uh, this uh, project. And this was the first map for this year's edition made by Kisla, a competitive mapper who makes a lot of the Trackman and Grandly map and made also by the amazing HTMH. So I hope you like these dirt textures because these are the textures from Trackmania Stadium, a game released in 2013. So there's been many games using this Formula 1 car. The first one was Trackmania Nations back in 26 and this is probably the fourth or fifth game with this stadium car and by far the most popular car out there and the most popular environment as we call them in the Trackmania community. But if you want to play with other cars, I would suggest Trackmania Turbo with four different cars or playing the Trackmania 2 games or even better play trackman united forever with seven different cars that's right seven different driving styles and we will move on to the last four maps of the speedrun with castellum by ellipse and night fox gonna be an amazing grass map normally there's some custom music but we removed it in order to uh, avoid any uh, issues uh, but the map is still uh, very amazing with the bumper plug right there. I'm going to switch to cam number one because it will be easier uh, to see my lines. I will try uh, to uh, get uh, to keep my gears and not to lose the fourth gear right there. I am keeping the fourth gear perfect. Excellent. And uh, very nice landscape, of course. Some very talented mapper in the community. There were so many maps that I wanted to include in this film, but I couldn't include them because 35 maps is way too uh, low uh, number of maps to represent the entire community. But I hope that I am making the community proud by representing all most of uh, the uh, mapping style. As I said, there's more than 20 mapping style, the most popular one and some less unknown ones like the speedboat map that we saw earlier. Maybe we're going to see other uh, speedboat maps after this uh, speedrun. Uh, I would be glad to see this happen because I really love these kind of maps. And now for the last three maps of the speedrun before we switch to the Kaki Showcase. And I want to get the donations going. Uh, even if we already met the Kaki uh, Showcase goal, uh, I think we have uh, some other incentive going on uh, for some other amazing runs with a Rocket League run that you just unlocked. That's going to be amazing. I don't even know what speedrunning in a Rocket League looks like. So that's going to be amazing to see. We already saw an interview with the Rocket League runners. And now we're on to another map by Prof10 with almost the same portals that we saw on the AO1 map. That's right, because Prof10 also made 
side. The portals on the O1 map, the first map of his pilot, we're switching now to Mars Fury. So the first section was inspired by uh, three tracks made by Prof10 uh, called Akita 1, 2, and 3. This is a uh, Mars Primus, one of my favorite maps, uh, set in a Mars Colony uh, theme. Desertic Mars Colony and then Tortuga. So these are the same assets as uh, the uh, Grass Tide map that we just uh, played earlier. And then we're gonna have the last uh, two maps. So I said that there was gonna be a second RPG map and maybe you have guessed already which game it's gonna be. It's one of, if not the most popular game on YouTube and in the entire gaming community. It's a game with nine letters. There's a lot of speed runs on it. Maybe random seed glitch test is a known word to you. This is, of course, Minecraft with escape from Minecraft. So we're gonna uh, have a quest map where we want to get some wood first, and then we'll look for a, a workshop and other items in order to finish that track. A very amazing job done by uh, Roby Lorraine on this amazing RPG maps. Most RPG maps are super long, so this is why I did not include them in the speedrun, but there are some other very talented mappers. There's, for example, a Rubik's Cube RPG map or a Bennett Foddy uh, RPG map, uh, like a Getting Over It, where you have almost no checkpoint and you have to complete all the floors uh, without uh, falling to the ground. And I did not get enough speed for that turn, so I'm gonna try again. I'm very unfortunate on this run. I really apologize. So maybe we have time for another round of donations. Of course we do, Rasta. We got ourselves Sub Ethric coming in with $50. They say never seen the Mania games before and loving the runs from Villa and Rasta. I'm pretty sure they're not this easy. Yeah, these games are the epitome of uh, way, way more difficult than it looks, but they're putting on a fantastic show for you. Thank you everybody so much. We also got $50 from Infinite Man saying, I just can't resist that Rasta charm. I play Track Mania, but this has been an absolute blast to watch. Much love from across the Atlantic. Yeah, we all go with you, Rasta. Thank you so much. Thank you and very much. And now we will move on to the underground section of the map. So the Minecraft, just like you would do in probably a traditional speedrun. I mean, you don't explore Minecraft that often in, in speedrun. You are more likely to explore strongholds, of course. We're gonna go for the diamond block. Oop, there you go. We got the turn around and then I'm gonna watch out for the wall because we will have a block which will uh, shut down the engine, the engine of block, and then I will go for the diamond block and try to get the finish first try. So this is probably one of the most RNG moments of the run. It's a very RNG. The last, uh, the only, Mm, part that is not exceptional in this map. So right now we are driving on ice with just some uh, different textures. We're gonna have a bumper block and I will try to get it first right this time. So let's line up perfectly, go for the jump and land between the French and Finnish flag. Doesn't seem like we will get a clean landing, but maybe I'll be surprised. Let's earn total, maybe. And that's very unlucky. <laughs> We're gonna oh. have to uh, restart this section. I really lined up perfectly, but uh, I guess uh, the Wheel of Fortune was not for me today. I mean, tonight because it's already 1 a.m. here in uh, Europe. So shout out to all the European track mina players. So I will try to get it second try this time. Line up perfectly. And uh, I told you this was very RNG. Like, Clearly one of the worst parts of the map, I'm gonna to have to this one one more time. Definitely luck is definitely not on my side, so maybe third time will be a champ. There's no consistent setup. I, I thought I had one, but it uh, seems like uh, the setup is uh, was not that good, so I'm gonna to try to go for a third attempt. Line up, and... Oh, I guess it's uh, it's my unlucky day, so may maybe I will be able to enter at all. Oh. Let's uh, let's try again. Full for them. That's really unfortunate. Like maybe we have time for another round of donation to compensate for that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. We've got Hop and Pop with a fifty dollar donation. Their comment reads: My head is spinning from Rostis's run. Not only are the kilometers per hour off the charts, but so are the words permitted. Here's to see more insanity with Rocket League. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, we got it. We uh, got it. We're uh, we safe. We safe. Uh, we safe. Uh, we can finish it. Come on, let's go. Oh, we are well over Simet. I was really not expecting to get that mini mistake. I really apologize, but. Very, very unlucky on that run. 
Especially on that map, normally it only takes two minutes to finish, but it took me four entire minutes due to that last section. And then for the last map, I'm not gonna have to do anything because it's a press nothing map, uh, one of the most uh, amazing mapping style. So I will just let uh, the uh, car uh, reach the finish line and I will uh, thank all the people that were involved in this run. I will thank the entire Trackmania speedrunning community. I'd like to thank my co-moderator Darkling, who's been moderating all the Trackmania games for uh, more than two years uh, with me. I'd like to thank also Virtual for uh, the discoverability that uh, he gives with this video uh, to this uh, fantastic uh, game. I would like to thank, uh, let me have a, a look, at all the foreign competitors from all the other stream, my teammate, Speedsurf, Alak Okan, Brandy, Einstein, and all of the others from the other stream. I also like to thank um, the GDQ staff for selecting that community uh, maps uh, showcase. I hope you like the run despite the uh, major mistake that I may <laughs> have done in the run. And now we will I'll soon switch to some uh, khaki replays with some amazing replays. It's gonna blow your mind. You can be sure about that. I'm gonna use a trick at the very end of this map to save about 500 of a second because I have world record on this track. So you might think, but because you don't have to press any button, everybody has the same time, but no, there is a trick in the very end. And I will teach you that trick right now if you want to get world record. So what you have to do in the last three seconds is to steer fully to the left. So you're gonna wait and then boom, steer fully to the left and get a 119, 140, which is the current world record. That is time. All right. So thank you very much for uh, for this run, and we will switch to the Kaki Showcase shortly, where I will show some amazing replays. So up to you, Iggy. Thank you so much, Rasta, for that incredible display and that amazing curated list of 35 maps from the game's impressive, impressive user community. C'est incroyable. C'est fantastique. And as they see in France, GG. And let me tell you, get some more GGs out, everybody. We have met the Panics Air Race Hard Incentive. We're going to be seeing some incredible map updating goodness. Your minds are going to be blown. I can't wait. And with that met, everybody, with less than $29,000 left until we reach that magic million, the second Rocket League Speedrun Showcase bonus is going to be Thunder Surge doing 50 goals. Now you're thinking, okay, that's not, that's not too impressive, but I didn't tell you how long it's going to take for Thunder Surge to do 50 goals. It is incredible. It is astounding. I had to take my hands off the keyboard when I saw the practice. And this 50 goal map that Thunder Surge is going to be doing at the very end of the showcase will be unlocked when we reach $1 million in total donations. Every single donation you put in from now until the end of the Rocket League showcase will be put towards meeting that incentive. That's a win-win-win as far as I see. You get to see a bunch of goals. You get to see the million. You get to hear me pass out because I start screaming about $1 million. I mean, vasovagal syncope is a thing, and I will be like, I will explode into a uh, 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 supernova hype for all you guys. I absolutely will. It's going to be phenomenal. And we also have some bids that you could put towards meeting that $1 million. We have opened up a whole bunch of incentives for the awful block. And let me tell you, this awful block is truly, truly awful. For example, we got the Food Dude Easter Egg for Zelda's Adventure. If you want to see a 25-year-old Easter egg, I'm sorry, 24 years old, you can do so by putting your donations toward it at the low price of $15,000 to get that met. And also, we've also got, we've also, we can make Mega Meme 2 even more painful to look at and see. And it's already going to be pretty painful. I need to sneak in a nap to watch the Alpha Block tonight, but I'm definitely going to be putting in some money to meet these Alpha Block incentives. And I want you all to also, because less than $29,000 left to meet the 50 goal incentive for Rocket League by the end of the showcase, let's go. And we still have some amazing donations for Rostis. 
we got ourselves an anonymous $100 donation saying loving this Trackmania showcase. Thanks for playing. It's very impressive. I I like the understatement at the end of that. It's pretty impressive. No, that was incredible. Come on. Come on. Well worth the $1 million that we are well on the way to. We've also got Logan with $250 coming in saying, finally, I could donate to GDQ. Thanks, all. I love this week. Again, such a mood. Thank you so much, Logan, for that $250 for the PCF. We also have the Knight of Me coming in with $20. I believe that's split into two $10 donations, essentially, because they say in their comment, did someone say $10 train? Two tickets, please. Yes, indeed. We are off and running. We are 971,996. This is happening. This is happening, everybody. This is happening. This. This is this. And this is also the khaki compilation. The, uh, the Speedrun Community Track Mania all got together and said, we don't need tracks. We don't need physics. And Rasta is going to be showing you some of the highlights of that right now. So give it up one more time for Rasta for the khaki compilation. Absolutely, everyone. So welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a showcase of some of the craziest, uh, khakiest khaki replays. So what khaki is, it's a, a month-long uh, competition organized in Trackmania Nations Forever and Trackmania 2020, where you have to finish as many nearly impossible maps uh, in uh, just one month. And these maps are either, um, they require a lot of luck or a lot of skill, and most of the time, both. And uh, we will have a, a nine-minute showcase. So let's try to speed and also to 1 million in these 9 minutes as you will get jaw dropped by all these replays so we're gonna start with one of the uh, most difficult tracks that I had to face it was Kaki Reloaded 80 a track from uh, Kaki Reloaded 2 so that was the last season of Kaki on Trackmania 2020 there's a season currently on Trackmania Nations forever with a Kaki map so you can see a lot of Trackmania streamers are playing uh, these uh, Kaki maps and now you see the ideal setup that you want to get on this map you want to fly and over avoid all these objects but as you may see speed stuff one of my teammates decided to go for another way and it's just one of the most amazing replays from Kaki just shows how uh, sometimes you just need a ton of luck as you can see he's lining up a bit to the left and then he will get some crazy bounces and uh, directly finish and it took him like less than uh, two hours to finish this map. It took me uh, personally about uh, 10 hours. And now we see a competition of some very, very close calls. And you may see the reaction of uh, some of uh, the runners. This one was super close. This one is from my channel. And that was one of my craziest uh, replays before I managed to finish the map. Juliana was bouncing uh, from the finish. This other one bouncing. <laughs> So yeah, that's really disappointing when this happens to you, or this crazy replay by Jean-René. <laughs> and we have another fail also by myself on mouse, so I had already finished the map at that time and I decided to play on mouse, and I got super close, but I completely failed it, sadly. And then another crash by Giuliano, and then Rassat got this run. So I had played the maps for 10 hours and I, uh, I started an event especially to finish this map after Kaki and uh, it took me 6 hours in total to finish the map. So this is a competition also from, of my favorite maps from Kaki Reload D2. This was voted the uh, best map of Kaki Reload D2 with the fragile bugs and the use of the bug slides to do these amazing turnarounds. And these maps might look easy but just try these maps, it's super difficult. And even the simplest map can be very random like this one which took me hours to finish. Like literal hours, I'm not even joking about that. And then you have a bug slide into to a, a wall which is called a uber bug and then you can get yeeted into the air and you need to land on the other side of the stadium and finish the map on the other side of that black panel 
or also uh, you could have uh, some uh, over replays which we will uh, see uh, later on on this uh, map 109 where we're gonna be spinning in circles really amazing replay of course so that was a consistent setup for that map but the difficult part was the ending where you had to fly uh, to the finish checkpoint to release everything and then to climb up to the checkpoint or you can decide to go through blocks and to get yeeted by these plastic blocks as you can see on this uh, replay also an amazing map but you can also die to these blocks and uh, so thankfully grip was able to get a uh, super good time that was what we caught at the time improving the world record by more than five seconds we will now switch to validation section of this uh, khaki incentive so to get khaki maps you need mappers to come up with new ideas and then to validate these ideas and to prove that these ideas are possible so now you see sb Villet, the uh, shoot mania runner on his uh, khaki map it took him as you can see 64 hours to validate the map so that's a lot of time so you can see how hard the khaki maps are and you will see his amazing reaction most of the clips are muted because most players uh, listen to copyrighted music during uh, their uh, when they play a khaki mask but you can see the excitement on his face, of course, and you also saw the excitement on my face when I finished Kaki 80. This is virtual with his own map with a nose boost. So the setup is basically like a grass type, but you, have, uh, you are nose down and then using the same put, you break and steer to the right. And he just missed the uh, finish by inches. But thankfully, about three hours later, he was able to uh, finish uh, his map and to validate it and that's clearly an amazing map and very difficult to finish now we'll show you some uh, other uh, cool uh, khaki uh, replays from uh, different uh, seasons so we're gonna have this amazing face plant by whoop i had never seen this before that's amazing the car standing still on the two front wheels or you can uh, get um, magnetic you can get attracted to the block uh, and play like spiderman and then go through this block boop there you go and then you finish the map or uh, you can take like literal hours to finish a map like virtual on this map took him 20 hours and he had to bounce on that pillar it sounds easy but it isn't at all i would really um let you uh encourage you to play some khaki maps uh either on nations forever or on tracking 2020 this was an instant replay by jean rené on one of the khaki maps from uh, last season of khaki reloaded so khaki reloaded 2 where he was able to skip one section and to go directly into this uh, blue eyes and finish in only 15 seconds uh shattering the world record by uh two sec uh, 12 seconds sorry so amazing world record and then sometimes you can get very lucky uh, on khaki maps like on this replay uh, by uh, Gunther but you will see that you can be very very unlucky so on this map you also needed a really precise uh, setup you needed to land on that uh, black section but very luckily Gunther could bounce on this and then land into the hole so yeah i you don't hear his reaction because i muted it but it's, it was just absolutely crazy and uh, now we see that you can also get very unlucky on this uh khaki map uh, where he just got stuck at the very end of the map and he couldn't uh, drop down uh, to the finish line and we have also this uh, replay by revenger with a grass lag you get yeeted into the air try to go uh, into the finish and then he just barely missed it and he had to fall down and now I will show you uh, the new uh, technique uh, discovered about five or six months ago. It's called the nose boost. It hasn't been uh, used in a lot of um, uh, runs or what we call runs, but it is used in almost all uh, tasks now. So I will just show you uh, this amazing technique and try to explain it to you. So you are just trying to chain a nose bug, uh, as you will see with uh, um, uh, with this. Uh, input you can see that it's steering a lot from uh, left to right and this uh, bug was discovered by accident by trying to optimize a khaki map you can see that you need to steer a lot and then you can see the increase in the speed over time which we will see right there so in less than uh, 0.15 of a second his uh, car speed almost uh, doubled and now we will see an example of a speedrun, a test speedrun on EO2. Uh, so an endurance map from Trek Mania Nations Forever. So normally this map is four minutes long, but uh, the amazing uh, Trek Mania runners got it down to three minutes and a half with uh, some amazing cuts. You may have seen some of these cuts uh, at SDGQ 2020 by Virtual himself. So we are trying to set up uh, four Venus boosts, getting a Uber bug with speeds of more than 400 kilometers per hour, and then the uh, nose 
this fiesta is uh, gonna start as you will see we'll start collecting all the checkpoints so checkpoint number one then we'll go for uh, checkpoint number two, if I remember correctly. And uh, you can see that we got the other checkpoint from uh, under. Same for this one, this one too. Uh, because the other boxes are a bit weird in a trackman checkpoint, you can get what we call a bug finish. And we will finish this map in just one minute and 30 seconds. So this is not doable for humans, of course. You can maybe get one nose bug. Some people were able to, to get one, but chaining all these nose bugs, absolutely impossible. I would love to do um, a task showcase with some other amazing tasks another time. That would be amazing, of course. And we're gonna uh, soon uh, finish uh, this uh, Trackmania run. I really hope you enjoyed. This has only been the second time that we've seen Trackmania at uh, Games Done Quick and the first time with uh, community maps, hand-picked community maps. And I have so many other maps uh, to showcase uh, on my uh, Twitch channel where I stream some Trackmania content uh, in English. Uh, so I will start uh, streaming uh, regularly some couple of days and some uh, GDQ speedrun, which will uh, uh, most likely be much faster than the speedrun I did tonight with uh, a lot of uh, mistakes and we're gonna soon finish this map and this is gonna be the time for the uh, khaki showcase so I really hope you liked all these uh, crazy uh, khaki replays and uh, very big stuff for the trackmanic community it's not uh, very often that we see uh, racing games at uh, speedrunning my friends so it really means a lot to to uh, be able to showcase uh, the work done by uh, the community and so I will wish you, of course, a pleasant evening. I will let Iggy Zig read out uh, the donation that you made during the Kaki Showcase. Maybe you can tell me what is the, the final total of donations, Iggy Zig, for next run, for the Rocket League run. We are currently over $975,000, less than 25 grand away to 1 million and unlocking that 50 goal incentive. All right, so uh, this will uh, be uh, the end of uh, this run, and I will uh, see you another time. Au revoir. A bientôt, mon ami, and thank you so much for not only that compilation video, which was just incredibly wonderful, but also that Trackmania map showcase. Oh boy. And like I said, we are less than 25 grand away to 1 million. Are we going to make it? Yes. Why did I even frame it as a question? I mean, by my projections, I've done the math and it's right. By the end of this event, we're looking at a grand total of $47.27 million. That's it. Let's get what? Let's get. Okay, I've been told to immediately retract that estimation, and I've also been told to never do math on stream again. So whatever it's going to be, significantly below that, but still pretty incredible. We are definitely going to make it. Let's keep it going, everybody. We have ourselves a $10 donation by Alex, kind of encapsulating our, our gestalt of thought, saying I am utterly impressed by how much map creators can do in this game. Uh, you've definitely not seen anything yet. Whew, we still have Rocket League coming up. And also, we have Fiverr with a $5 donation. Their comment reads, 55, 55.5, code confirmed, boop, $5 donation train activated. And everybody, let's get that rolling on. As keys are on, our champion of Bulbasaur speaks with Distro, the runner of Halo 5 Guardians. <laughs> Ch champion of Bulbasaur. Um, uh, you know what? If the people like it, I'll take that title. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone. I am Kizeron here at AGDQ 2022. I'm joined by Distro, the runner of Halo 5. Distro, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Or I I'm guess excited. like tonight for you, because it's it's what, 139 for you right now? And really, really late night shift for you, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty late. <laughs> so I gotta ask, uh, I, I know a few Halo runners, but I don't know any Halo 5 runners personally. So um, what, what draws you to speedrunning Halo 5 as opposed to, you know, some of the other ones? Well, I do love the other Halo speedruns, but what draws me to Halo 5 so much is that the movement tech is very amazing. Um, there's a lot of advanced movement tech that isn't in the previous games, and it's just a lot of fun, really. And there's also a lot of skips and tricks, so that's great. And I noticed that you're doing Legendary, which those of you at home that don't know the differences in the difficulty, 
How have you not heard of Legendary on Halo, first off? But second off, Legendary is the hardest difficulty in Halo, and Halo runs are typically separated by Easy and Legendary. So what's, what's the big difference between a Legendary run, like we're going to see, and an Easy run? Um, well, first of all, the easy run focuses more on movement and uh, clean headshots. Uh, just, you just try to have the cleanest movement to progress as fast as possible. But on Legendary, there's an extra layer of excitement, I believe. Um, that's because you have to be able to adapt to enemies, because every single enemy almost can pretty much kill you. So you have to be able to uh, always have that situational awareness to be able to react correctly. So I think that's pretty fun. Is there a, is there any pattern to these enemies and stuff, or like can, is it something you can predict, or is it kind of like random? Um, it's a little bit of both. Um, enemies have certain move sets, and uh, it is also random. Like you cannot predict what an enemy is going to do at an exact moment, but you will have a certain feeling of how to react depending on how an enemy is behaving at that very moment. Sure. Um, and I also noticed that you are actually running on the unpatched version of the game. And I did notice that there's also some patched runs. So what's, what's the biggest difference between having the unpatched version of the game compared to a patched run? Okay, so there have been a lot of uh, campaign balancing patches. Um, plasma pistol runs do a lot more damage on the updated version of the game. That's one of the big reasons why we do unpatched. The second big reason is that uh, we have coordinates on the unpatched version of the game, which is relevant for the last level, for a big skip. And the third reason is that hunters are... Um, easier to kill on the unpatched version of the game because if you hit them with the sword, they will flinch and you can hit them again in the back um, two to three times and they will die. In patched, if you try to sword them, they will not flinch. They will just turn around and destroy you. Now, just to remind folks at home, don't forget that this run is in about a couple of hours. And we did just mention a, like you know having skips and stuff. So we're not going to go too much into that. Uh, I think it'd be much better if you all tune in and check that out for yourself. There's some pretty big skips, including the last level where there's a significant amount of time that's cut down. But speaking of time cut down, you did run this back at AGDQ 2018. And back then, your estimate was 145. And now you're confidently entering 2022 with a 137 estimate. So what's, what's changed between then and now? Um, well, I have gotten better at the game. That's the first thing. But the <laughs> second big thing is there's been a lot of... Uh, clear optimizations, a lot of the clears are faster, and also some new skips, uh, some of them pretty substantial. So, And they're also really, really cool, so you should watch the run. Now, everyone knows Halo has multiplayer in it. You'd be living under a box if you didn't know that Halo's had multiplayer. Uh, just to kind of try to relate the speedrun to some people that play the game more casually at home or play from a completely different competitive level, uh, what would you say are big differences between being competitive in multiplayer and being competitive on a leaderboard such as a speedrun leaderboard? Um, I would say that in the campaign, um, you know how the enemies can behave. There's like uh, certain movesets they have and you can react to that accordingly. In the multiplayer, um, you can keep the aiming skills that you have, which is very important, but the difference is that you cannot really predict how a human will uh, behave. So there's different, uh, there's certain patterns, but you really don't know what's going to happen. It's way more random in that sense, that you can't predict sure. uh, enemies' behavior, behavior that well. And then uh, one last question before you throw it back up at the front. Um, what is your favorite weapon in Halo 5? I like a lot of them. Um, maybe the Binary Rifle, which is some kind of alien sniper, which just uh, <laughs> goes business and <laughs> destroy the enemies. But, uh, I also really like the Energy Sword, which is a classic in Halo. It's hard to say right. I like a lot of weapons, really. Yeah, Halo definitely has like a diverse cast of weaponry that's always... I, I, there's, there are some, you know, bad weapons, quote unquote, but like you always have fun with them no matter what. But anyway, thank you, Distro, for taking the time to sit down for this interview. Uh, remember, folks, a couple of hours, is going to be running Halo 5 on Legendary, so be sure to tune in. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and throw it back up to the front. See y'all later. Thank you, Keys, and thank you, Distro, for that excellent interview. I am looking forward to Halo 5 Guardians. That is absolutely my favorite Halo game. Everybody, come at me. It's my favorite. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, and during that interview, we have less than $12,000 to go to not only meet the 50 Gold Rock Elite Incentive, but also to hit $1 million. You don't want me to shut up about it? Let's get $1 million. Come on, let's go. I'll probably pass out when it happens. Oh, you have not heard anything yet. This isn't even my final form. <laughs> All right, we, we, the hype for Rocket League is absolutely real. Yeah, $50, 
saying, love you guys. I love Trackmania and I love Rocket League. Let's get it. And that came from Spencer. Thank you, Spencer. Very appreciated. And during the Khaki Showcase, we got $1,000 donated by the only Mazar saying Rocket League in a GDQ. I can't miss out on this. We have to meet all the incentives. Well, thank you very much, only Mazar, with that $1,000 donation, just by virtue of the fact that you sent it in. We are going to be getting to that goal ever, ever closer. But when we come back, everybody, it's what you all came here to see. It's going to be the phenomenal, the incredible. It's, it, you're not going to have a highlight reel. The whole run's going to be the highlight reel. The Rocket League showcase speedrun incentive when we return. So please join us.